I already glued on a nose and now I'm gonna go ahead and use latex to make skin look really old. We're gonna use the clear latex. So I cut these sponges so they're half as wide. I'm gonna start by the eye and I'm gonna stretch out. And I'm gonna put the latex over in a thin layer, blow dry that, powder that, and not until then I can let go. Because if it starts folding afterwards and it sticks to itself, it's done, I have to start over. Powder and a powder puff is ready to powder. I don't wanna get it into any of the hair. So I'm avoiding getting the hairline and the eyebrow. The eyes is the area where there's most lines. You want to look at pictures and see how lines actually form on an old person. So around here, I'm going to go this way on your eye. Close your eye. I'm going to go this way so that when it sacks, it goes like this. <laughs> Let's do under the eye now. Yeah, just I'm trying to avoid getting it up in the eyelashes. I'm gonna go and do the same on the forehead now. I'm just gonna do small areas at a time. I change my sponges because once it starts drying in the sponge, the, the sponge is actually gonna get stuck. This is something, even though it doesn't show so much, the texture of it is gonna help me when I paint and I'm gonna paint on some of those lines. It looks very powdered because it is, but I'm gonna take it off with a little bit of castor oil. And you can't use any other type of oil because that will break down the latex. So I'm gonna use an alcohol-based palette. This one is made to do aging makeup. And you need 99% alcohol to activate this, but it works like watercolor once you, this is 99% alcohol. I am having a wrinkle of forehead and I see those lines that I created now with the latex and I take the biggest ones and paint with a dark brown inside to make them look much more prominent. And it's good to not connect them across the forehead have, if there's one that's like in level, don't connect them. I'm actually picking out on the face everywhere that is like hollow or more curving in and I create depth by putting a little bit of a shadow color and then making it darker so it looks like it's even more. Uh, like usually if you look, look at old people, they sometimes have more veins, little capillary showing on their skin and their eyelids, a little more purple. For age spots, I have this little thigh brush. Kind of a toothbrush, it's like a, I think it's made for hair dyes. We're gonna paint some little veins. Look for real veins. I paint on top. There's actually a color on this similar palette. This is a zombie palette, but I still use all the different colors. You can mix it. I'm using kind of like a bluish, greenish. And you want to make sure that all the lines are as irregular and not straight. If you have to erase something or blend something, you can use it. Just put a little alcohol. Make the eyebrow look older. This is a Krylon gray hair mascara. I have this little silicone mold that actually has warts. I filled them up with something called Bondo. That's like this white paste that comes in a kit with the, the mold. It's like a clear 
plastic liquid. You brush that over the, the mold that you're gonna make. Then you fill it up with the Bondo, sticky white paste, and let it dry overnight. Powder it with clear powder, and then you can release it. And that's what I'm gonna do now. And just with 99% alcohol, makes it stick. Look like the apple is more sunken in, like this is hanging more. I'm breaking like her jawline is strong, but I'm breaking it up, making it look shorter and cutting into it here. You can do the stretch and stipple down on the neck, pulling down.